Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here with Collie Center for today's training. Grab either a training bolo or grab a collie stick. I got a couple cool drills for you today to start working on some transitions with some of the more basic techniques. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you've been training with me for a while or you are new to Kali and uh, you're really into the training, smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a cool comment below and let's go ahead and grab our gear and let's train. All right, in today's training, we're taking a look at two different drills. We're gonna do a six count drill and then we're also gonna do an eight count drill that is focusing on some of the basic transitions of putting some of the basic Kali techniques together on the single sword or also the single stick. So let's go ahead and just kind of jump right in, into it. The first drill, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the kind of easier one. This is the six count drill. And uh, from right here, we're gonna start off with our, what we call a quick jab right here. It's a horizontal broken hack type of motion right there. So I'm just gonna come out, boom, and hack right there. Boom, right there, right there, okay? Now after I hit that, move two, I'm gonna come all the way through with a vertical slash just like that. So one and two, and then it's gonna come into that forehand thrust and it's gonna go all the way through just like that. All right, let's take another look at that from another angle right here. So I'm gonna go into that hacking jab on that horizontal, strike the vertical cut, and then this is going to move directly into that forehand thrust just like that. I'm gonna repeat the exact same principles on the backhand side. I'm gonna hit this backhand horizontal jab, I'm gonna strike on this vertical on the backhand, and then I'm gonna come through with that thrust and that's going to end to the original position of that number one spot over the right shoulder. Let's take another look at that again. So we got six moves total. We have our one, two, three, four, five, and six right there. So we're going to jab that thing out. We're going to cut down that vertical and forehand thrust. We're going to go into that backhand hacking jab right there, backhand vertical into the backhand thrust right there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, do a couple with me real quick, nice and slow. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. One more time, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right there. So again, just to show you real quick, if you do not have a training bolo, that's okay. Sometimes it does help to have you know, a training bolo or like a flat stick, so that way you just have a better idea of where the cutting edge is at. But we can do the exact same movements here, the same training, even if we you know, have the rattan stick. It is totally fine. Same exact movements, same principles, techniques, everything applies. Now here's how you can do it when you have the rattan stick, especially like a round stick like this, is you want this second knuckle line right here to be representing where that blade edge is at. So when any time that we're striking with that stick, we wanna make sure that that knuckle line is on line with where that strike is gonna be at. Okay, you're gonna see how the knuckle line is right there, and then that knuckle line is there. Same thing on those backhand strikes. The knuckle line is there, the knuckle line is there, and then that knuckle line is right there on that, on that thrust. All right, so you can still work that out. You just gotta make sure you're paying a little bit more attention to what's going on here. Or you could always put a tape, you know, a piece of tape down here or whatever on your stick that would represent where that blade edge would be at if you do not have a training bolo. Let's take a look at drill Dalawa, or drill number two. This is an eight count drill right here and uh, we're pretty much just adding a little bit more. So it's gonna start off exactly the same first two moves. We're gonna go into that horizontal jabbing motion right there, a little hack. We're gonna go all the way through on that vertical cut right there. This time, notice I'm going back into a slash. I'm gonna slash that diagonal angle one and I'm gonna pop this thrust right there and then I'm gonna flip it. I'm just gonna bring it right back into that two chamber position. Right, so let's go ahead and take another look at this one from this position. I'm gonna go into that horizontal jabbing hack, down that vertical cut, going back to the slash this time, slash that angle one and then pop that backhand thrust and then go ahead and pull it out. 
Now we're gonna do the exact same principles on the backhand side right here. So we're gonna jab that thing out, boom, right there. Cut all the way down, back up into the angle two. Slash the two, thrust the forehand, and then go ahead and pull that out. So now we have eight count drill. Let's take another look at that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there. Okay, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and get a few reps in together, nice and slow on our eight count right here. We have one, two, three, four. Flip it. One, two, three, four, right here. So again, all the way through, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight right there. Now the goal to this training right here is that we want to try and get these movements to be as smooth as possible in the transitions from one movement into the next. So it's always a good idea to start off nice and slow and focus on slow and smooth motions right here. Right? We, we want to break the rigid, you know, fast and uh, you know, kind of more rigid type of movements. We want this to flow. We want to start building flow. So it should be nice and smooth. Boom, right here. As soon as it touches, we come down. As soon as that thing touches the chamber, we cut. As soon as it reaches that peak, boom, right there. See how I bring it back, nice and smooth. Same thing, boom, right here. Pop, right there. And then gradually be speeding it up without losing that fluidity, okay? All right, once again, you can do the exact same drill using the rattan stick, just paying attention to that second knuckle line, which would be representing where that blade edge is at. So you can still rep them out. Doesn't matter, you know, which uh, training tool that you're using. It's really about learning the motions and developing the techniques, but we're not just developing the techniques, okay? We're building that coordination, but we're also starting to look at building the agility or the transition between movement and movement. And that is a very important skill, very important attribute to be developing when it comes to our performance in Kali. Not just coordination, we get that first, and then right away we bring this into the uh, agility development. All right, that does it for this particular video, for this particular lesson in training. So take your time with these drills, you know, break them down step by step. I've done a, a couple other videos not too long ago about how I start breaking down the drills and kind of create more like a ladder system, you know, how to kind of build the drills up if you need to do that. I'll kind of have a link to that video, you know, attached here to this video if you want to check out that learning method. If you want to get more training with us here on the channel, we have over 600 free videos. We've been doing this for a uh, quite a long time, so you can always go back and check out our whole video catalog that we have here on the channel. We also have exclusive videos that are here on the channel as well, and if you wanna get access to the, our exclusive videos, click the join button right below this video and check out becoming a channel sponsor. And then you know, if that's something that you wanna do, you know, once you join in on that, then you get access to a whole bunch of different videos that are exclusive, that go you know deeper into different instructions. We do part twos and all kinds of stuff to a lot of the videos that are just kind of more to the general public. You can also head over to collicenter.com, check out our further training programs and courses, our DVD downloads, all on over there. Uh, for all the information and details on our training, just head over to collicenter.com. I got all the links for everything in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And uh, go give this one a try. Go give both of these a try, 
And then uh, make sure that if you're new to the channel or if you've been watching for a while and you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. It really does help us out. I appreciate it so much when you're showing that type of love and support to the channel. And uh, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below, something cool. And of course, go ahead and share this video with your collie friends. Let's spread the, uh, spread the knowledge. Let's spread the love for the art and all that with our friends and fellow practitioners of the martial arts and, and all that stuff. All right, I'll see you guys back here for some more training in the next one. Stay safe. Always train smart. Always train safe. But most importantly as well, make sure that you're training. You're always having fun. Get outside and go make nature your collie dojo. And I'll see you next time.